Good evening, CLC. My name is Naomi Feda. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Um, so as you know, last week I started talking a little bit about um, just who we are in Christ because I think that identity is so important because think about um, how much of our lives maybe um, you feel like your identity is wrapped up in your job and what you do for a career or uh, maybe in your past and who's, whose child you are or um, just uh, the mistakes that you've made. But yet God see, gives us this unique identity in Christ in terms of like um, once we come to him, once, once we come and we have um, you know, received Christ into our lives to become a child of God, there are so many things um, that that relationship with Christ does for us. And one of them is this aspect of love. Because think about it. Um, how much of, of our, our inner self, of our inner worth, is determined by our feelings of how much we are loved? So there is a passage in Ephesians chapter 3. Where it talks a little bit about this love. It says, um, I'm going to start in verse 16. And this is, I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will, will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you must have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ. It is too great to understand fully, and you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Think of how much um, you know, love makes us complete. You, know, um, you hear stories of, of children um, without, without parents, of orphans, and how deeply that impacts their lives or um you know children that were were not loved or had a lot of um mean things um destructive things spoken over them during their childhood and how that affects the rest of your life because right, as we go out and about interacting with people um or even in our quiet times alone our decisions are, are often based on, you know, our self-talk, you know, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so to we deal with what is inside, it um, can be challenging to move forward. And, and so if you were one of those, or even if you're not, like, I think that one of the um, aspects of, of the fall, you know, when Adam and Eve ate that fruit and we're no longer perfect in perfect relationship with God that just from then on out it is just much more challenging for people to know that they're loved right because um now like stamped kind of on our identity is this aspect of sin and knowing that um we've sinned our ancestors have sinned and yet God still loves us and it's not even like he loves in spite of like he just unabashedly loves you and to live out of that like i am loved by god you are loved by god to live out of that identity um is amazing and it's something that that, that grows on us but um just em embrace that identity and and um just receive it and continually to remind yourself that you're loved. You're a child of God and you're loved. You're not just kind of loved. You're just, he doesn't just love parts of you. Like he loves you. And so just yesterday, I was reading the um, passage from Jesus Calling and it says, most of mankind's misery stems from feeling unloved. In the midst of adverse circumstances, people tend to feel that love has been withdrawn and they have been forsaken. This feeling of abandonment is often worse than the adversity itself. 
Be assured that I will never abandon you, any of my children, not even temporarily. I will never leave you or forsake you. My presence watches over you continually. I have engraved you on the palm of my hands. So, just that reminder, you are loved to go about your week living out of that identity. As always, may God bless you and look forward to seeing you um, on Sunday.